It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. This episode is going to be a little different from our usual adventurous vlogs. As those of you who would have seen the last post we put up, I have a broken ankle at the moment, preventing me, and naturally us, from getting out and about in our beautiful country. So, we thought we'd explain what brought us to starting our YouTube channel in the first place. My husband Robert's retirement, and consequent redundancy, enabled us to purchase a caravan. With our mortgage finally paid off too, it only made sense that I retire early so that while we are still physically able, usually, that we just get out of our comfort zone and do it. We planned a trip to the South Island as we had only been there once before on our honeymoon 41 years earlier. And that was thanks to Robert's work in the railways. So the railway buses, trains and even the ferry across Cook Strait was significantly cheaper for us back then. But we were limited in seeing a lot of the spectacular South Island. So in March of 2021, we set sail for the South Island. And my other passion in life is photography. So I captured as many photos as I could and used my new modern smartphone as a backup to the photos and sent updates of our adventures home to our children and grandchildren. So it was this South Island trip that inspired us to start up the YouTube channel. Robert and I enjoyed watching other YouTubers going to all the places we had been to and having been back home for a year after our trip and with house renovations completed and even able to help our children with their renovations too, retirement was getting boring, for me anyway, as I like to be stimulated in doing things. So in July of 2022, R&D Adventures was created. And I'm loving it. It keeps us active and me occupied. As I said, I get bored easily. So, as a tribute to what started this off, here are some favourite memories of that South Island trip. Enjoy. Picton was a lovely little place. Busy, but picturesque. Then we moved on to Nelson, where we had walked a fair stretch up to the centre of New Zealand, when Robert had me in stitches. What did you just discover? <laughs> what was it? He's playing. We got all his work. And he's found he's got two different shoes on. <laughs> I just couldn't get enough of Nelson's sunsets and rises and then we discovered a cathedral only to be welcomed inside to an organist putting on a show. Isn't it lovely? Let's see what the rest of Kaiteri Teri brings. Don't we? Oh. 
I had this thing where I would ask Robert a question. And it was funny at times. Until it wasn't. Where are we? Where are we? Hmm? <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Hmm? Where are we? On the road. So where are we now, Bobby? The springs. What are the name of the springs? Who are? <laughs> I can't remember either. Wyo, Wyo Tahu, Poo Poo. We know the Poo Poo Springs. Jingo's gonna do a bear hug. Think about it, buddy. This is ridiculous. Oh man. Got across to the other side. Giving the man a bear hug. <laughs> Trail. Oh, oh, my bell. Where are my bell? Ring my bell. Wonderful sight. Don't you rock it, Bobo? He's a rascal. Well, this is lovely. I like Lake Runner. The gorge. Look how low that is. Pool. 
He's got a family. Oh, oh I can't just say hello. Oh, look, they're even climbing up, Baba. Oh, they want to come in. Now, there's something about birds liking Robert for some reason. You think you're closer now, Robert? Robert the Hobbit, off you go. Here you go, look. Look at that. Not far from Haast on the west coast in the Mount Aspiring National Park area, we were treated to some spectacular scenery with crystal clear waters and a bunch of waterfalls. Crazy. <laughs> Blue pools, walk. Guess where we are? <laughs> Wanaka Lavender Fields. Yoo Lavender Farm, whatever it's called. Lovely. You're going up the hill. <laughs> Now that is clever, isn't it? They are concave. They go in concave, but they look like they're convex over here. How clever is that? You're going to bump your head. Oh, you did bump your head. This is called First Church of Otago. It's even cool this angle. Stairs. These motorbikes just did wheelies going up, going up Baldwin Street. They're not doing wheelies going down, <laughs> are they? <laughs> Here they go. Because we are such fans of the True Crime New Zealand podcast, we just had to see Aromoana for ourselves and were taken aback by the beauty of the place to have had such a tragedy take place here. This is just metres away from the Aromoana disaster. This glorious spot. Boulders. Look, we're up 
kurus tanya nulis. Oh man, we're at the Nugget Point Lighthouse. Nuggets. Nuggets at Nugget Point. So what was the name of the So a techie. I know that you're something got really tacky. Oh no. <laughs> so where are we now, Bobo? I have no idea. <gasps> no time. No. <laughs> you're bad. Good plan. Where are we? <laughs> Where? Wilkie. Thank you. Lake Wilkie. McLean's Falls. That's so nice. The Catlins had some beauty spots and we managed to reach the most southern part on the South Island called Slope Point and got to see Stewart Island in the distance too. Risk if I can see it. <laughs> Milford Sound lived up to its reputation with having the highest rainfall in New Zealand. We based ourselves in Arrowtown, as it's only a short distance from Queenstown. April put on a show of autumn colours for us, which was perfect timing, but we specifically timed our Queenstown visit to meet up with our daughter and her new husband after their wedding day. This will be nothing compared to your experience yesterday. Yeah, I was sitting so. on the cliff, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's literally up the... Up, Over there? Yeah, somewhere Those up Those mountains, that's mad. <laughs> Queenstown was full of activities, even for the young at heart, but it really was a tourist spot. Nevertheless, we still enjoyed it, and we discovered this quirky house that entertained us near Glenorchy, which is just out of Queenstown. Trip over to Glenorchy in the rain, and we found those gorgeous trees in the water. I love it.
The autumn trees around Lake Benmore were a sight. And then these clay cliffs were just jutting out of nowhere, begging to be explored. Where are we? Our campground. And what's it called? Pukikau. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not Pukimanu, not Pukikaui. Ruetaniwa. And we thought the glorious lakes down here couldn't be topped in their beauty. But we had yet to see the stunning mountainous beauty of the Mount Cook area. Wow. Pukeki and Cook. see people over there on the ordinary old track that leads to the glacier viewpoint. Oh, but we're going to take this route, aren't we? Yay, here we go. We made it. I guess that's the glacier there. Here's that Tasman Lake. Sun is going off the top of the mountains, even. Christchurch. We're staying at South Brighton, so this is the bright, famous Brighton Pier. Found the memorial wall of the earthquake victims.
We got to Castle Hill in the rocks. We are going to go and explore. Oh, cool. There's a photo for you. Where are you, Bobo? There you are. Right, our attempt to get out here. Is that the summit thing? Because I made it. Keeps swinging me. Where are you? Where are you, Bobo? Am I going for a walk? Three llama going for a walk. Hello. Four llama. It's an interesting car too. Interesting. We got in for free. We were expecting to pay uh, three dollars each. She said, "Go on through." It's beautiful. Oh, oh yes, there it goes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're doing a forest walk. We have to follow the dog. This forest walk in Hanmer Springs was brilliant, with the wooden sculptures making it so interesting, making me wish that every forest walk in New Zealand was like this one. The seal colony over there, watching the seals. Kaikoura was unique with its seal colonies and the history of the 2016 earthquake making for interesting viewing at the museum morning in Kakora. We got a good one. Now this Omaka Historical Aviation Centre near Blenheim was surprisingly very interesting. Robert loves his car and plane museums but not me, usually. But I really found this one great, with Peter Jackson's creativity on the displays and interesting stories on what some pilots endured during war times. <laughs> we 
we rode out to the SS Waverley shipwreck. We got there. Round trip. We went that way to the boat and came back this way. On your birthday, yay! How old? <laughs> yeah. Right. You going to come out? There's a cat in there. You are really a skinny cat, aren't you? Yeah. There's your precious blue bridge. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummies. You're right, dear. The yahoos are coming. Happy to see the yahoos. We've driven out to the famous Pelorus Bridge that we've never ever heard of before before the South Island trip and we're down underneath it and it's beautiful look at the water <gasps> jump New Year's Day aged 11 years and every summer since Richard Dale Dale jumped off here I could not sit down for four days. What? I'm from here so I'm going to rip the soles off my shoes and force water up my... Oh no! Well, there's the warning. Do not jump. Jumping from bridge has caused death and permanent injury. And yet, they jumped. <laughs> there we go. Found a pretty jetty at Nakuda Bay. We're following the Queen Charlotte Sounds tracks. Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? I'm blown away by a uh, living creatures. Is a sight in itself. Do that again. <laughs> bye bye. Our boat. We missed the boat. <laughs> they wouldn't take us. We're too long. Come and hang.